A Dallas County jury found Del Vecchio Patrick guilty for murdering his ex-wife. That decision came in late this afternoon. In 2012, Deanna Cook was murdered while she was on the phone calling for help. She'd called 911. Fox 4's Sean Rabb has been in the courtroom the entire trial. Sean is in with more on the reaction to the verdict. Sean. Yeah, uh, Steve, three hours and 20 minutes, jurors deliberated before returning that guilty verdict. There was a lot of emotion in the courtroom, but the judge admonished everyone not to cry out, not to scream, not to react in any way when the verdict was read. And as soon as that guilty verdict was pronounced, people began spilling out into the hallway. And as you can imagine, the emotion spilled out there as well. Want to show you the reaction to Vicki Cook, Deanna Cook's mother, in that hallway right after the verdict was announced. Of course, it was August 17th, 2012, when Deanna Cook uh, was strangled to death, drowned in a tub of water. The charge asphyxiation by water. The jury said yes. Del Vecchio Patrick killed his ex-wife in that manner after a week of very uncomfortable, hard to listen to testimony, including 911 calls, including Deanna Cook's own 911 call as she was being murdered August 17th, 2012. Now, there's a gag order in this case by Judge Brandon Birmingham, so the lawyers nor the family members can speak. But listen to Deborah Bowles and what she has to say. She is an advocate for women who are victims of domestic violence. The family's excited as well as myself. And we're excited to see what's going to happen on Tuesday so this family can get closure. It's been a long, emotional two years for this family. Now, of course, Tuesday is when uh, the punishment phase of this trial begins. The judge, of course, is giving everybody off Monday, Memorial Day. Tuesday morning, 8.30 is when the punishment phase gets underway. And Steve, real quick. This morning, one of the original jurors was dismissed and replaced with an alternate because a Dallas sheriff's detention officer said she overheard her in an elevator yesterday talking to another woman, even offering that woman a ride from the courthouse. That woman came to me today and said, listen, that's my granddaughter. And she was not talking with me about the case. I came down to hear and see for myself. We never discussed the case. I told that to the district attorney, but she was still dismissed and one of the two alternates sat in. And again, three hours, 20 minutes later today, the guilty verdict. Okay, Sean Rapp, punishment next week. Thank you very much.